Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's and today I tried melting crayons in clear glass Christmas balls. I don't know if I like them or not but a friend of mine asked me if I could give it a try so I did and if you want to see how I did this stay tuned it's coming up next. Well, I was asked to see if I can make these by a very dear friend of mine. So, experiment along with me. What you'll need is Crayola crayons, a clear glass Christmas ornament. I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut off pieces of the crayon, and a hair dryer, or a heat gun. I don't know which one's going to work. So I've got them both ready. And the first thing I'm going to do is tear off some paper from the bottom of the crayons and then I'm going to make little slices because I think the slices will melt faster. I also got a silicone mat and a silicone mitt from the Dollar Tree because a hair dryer and a heat tool can get very hot. Okay, we'll get started doing that. The X-Acto knife worked very well cutting the bottoms off of this. And now I'm just going to make slices. Ah ha ha, watch your fingernails. Hmm. And I know that some of the videos that I saw on YouTube to do this, they used big pieces, but I'm thinking it's probably going to take a whole lot longer for it to melt. And if I don't get have to get this so hot that I get burnt, I'll be very happy. Okay. So I'm just going to put a couple of pieces in here. Get out the mitt and let's try the hair dryer first. This is going to take a long time, but it's already starting to get really hot. I'm going to try the heat gun on low and see if that works any faster. Oh yeah. Okay, that's working a whole lot faster. So I'm going to add some more in here.
Oh, that is really hot. Mandy, I don't know if this one's worth it. But we'll see what happens in the end. I don't know if you can see it's still moving around in the bottom. This thing is so hot I don't even want to touch it. It's definitely got a marble look to it. it so far and I'm definitely going to have to add more I think it needs a whole lot more white still hot okay here we go and I'm probably going to fast forward a lot of this since it is taking as long as it is. You can definitely feel the heat through these silicone mitts. too hot okay since that was actually getting too hot to handle I got a pair of my silicone tipped tongs out and I'm gonna try it with that and see what happens This kind of has a swirl look to it, but it also seems to be getting a muddy look. And this thing is steaming.
It definitely has a marble look to it. And some spots are swirled very nicely and other ones are so-so. I don't know if I tried it in some different colors if it would turn out, but this is not what I would call a favorite and I don't think I'll be making any more of these. But I gave it a shot for you, Mandy. Okay, this one I'm going to try with just two colors, and I'm doing one color at a time. So I've got some red violet in there already, and I'm putting in some, um, I think it's called sky blue. And we'll try that one next. Okay, it still has spots on it that aren't filled in, so I'm just going to keep heating it up until it covers those spots. Well, it's okay, but the light blue you can't even see. It's just kind of mixed in. So I wouldn't exactly call this one of my favorite crafts. And I'm thinking that once this cools down enough to touch, once I put the um, cap back on, it's probably going to scrape off the crayon. But we'll see. Okay, there they are done. I don't really care for the way they turned out. This one just kind of got muddy and looks almost like camo. This one you can't see the light. It just melded together. It's not one of my favorites. Let me know if you've ever tried this and if it worked for you. 
If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.